morning guys it is another beautiful morning on the california delta i mean seriously loving these conditions for fishing out of a kayak i mean you can't beat it i don't know how well that's going to treat the fishing it is the california delta you never know i don't know ever actually so it could be an amazing day it could be a tough day no particular specific video planned just gonna go out fishing and see what I can uh, piece together it's October 10th so it's definitely cooler it feels like fall I think yeah right now water temp is at about 63 air temps about 55 it's gonna get up to about 70 today I've got tied on some of the usual suspects for baits but I do think they're more fall oriented if you take a look back here of course we got a couple trusty rage menaces there's a jerk bait you can't see under that little uh, lure cover We've got a brown frog popping frog i really like that brown uh frog in the fall when the water cools down i don't know why i just do of course the drop shot which i have a feeling will come out today for sure chatterbait and a swim jig uh, i'm gonna weigh the fish today so we're gonna weigh the biggest or the heaviest five fish and see what kind of bag we can put together and uh, hopefully we have a good day so stay tuned might as well start right here all right hopefully that's a decent angle okay, let's scale here Interesting. So this like little drain here, uh, it's funneling current. There's a, bun there's a bunch of fish stacked up right here. Water's super clear, and they know I'm here. Um, and they wouldn't bite anything really moving, but uh, this jerk bait right here, they're following it, and they're they're nipping at it a little bit. They're just not committing. Got a couple of them. It's a good uh, buffet table for them. Yeah, first fish of the day. Not gonna weigh, but uh, maybe a sign for things to come. Finally tricked one with a jerk bait. A little KVD jerk bait right here. Love it. So I'll be honest, I really like this jerk bait option right now, but you know what bait I'm about to take out. Old Faithful. Drop shot. Because I know exactly where they are too. Well, it just shows that drop shot's a good way to go. seven pounder right there. All right guys, this area was kind of like my first stop of the day. I mean, it's only like 300 yards from the launch. And there, I saw a bunch of fish at the, uh, at the drain, you know, with the current funneling in and they were setting up, which made sense. They weren't big, two pounders. I, caught, I saw a couple threes and then I saw maybe a couple fours and fives. But I just saw probably a five or a six right there. And there was a seven, seven or an eight swimming right there so basically what i'm saying is i'm sticking here the rest of the day and i'm just going to try to figure out how to catch these fish oh my god i just saw the seven being chased by us i don't know what that was it wasn't a carp it almost looked like a big sturgeon yeah right there what is that
And we got our first keeper of the day. Finally. Man, I don't even know if that's a keeper to be honest. I'm gonna actually say no, that's not a keeper. Keeper, at least. His jaw is jacked up. One fourteen. Well, one fourteen will take it. Well, it's almost 12 o'clock and I really haven't left this like little hundred yard stretch because I've seen a ton of giants and uh, that's actually a bad thing. As soon as, as soon as I see a big one, it's game over. They're not gonna bite. The only keeper fish I caught today, the one pound 14 ouncer was from a long cast with a drop shot. And uh, I think that's what it's gonna take to get some of the big ones to bite is you just gotta make those long casts. They cannot know you're there. That, that'll be your best shot at it. So that's what my focus will be in just to throw the drop shot, make long casts, and uh, hopefully get lucky and catch a couple big ones because they're definitely in here. Man, it's not a big one, but I think that's our second keeper of the day. 15 ouncer. One pound, seven ounces. Okay. Definitely not a big one, but it's number four. One pound on the nose. Alrighty guys, gonna switch things up, move to the uh, chest mount. Ooh, three pounder right there. Yeah, move to the chest mount. guys that is gonna do it for today unfortunately I could not get a fifth fish in the boat a keeper fish at least and it really wouldn't have mattered pretty uh, pretty tough day overall lots of small fish but just couldn't get those quality bites that uh, that I was definitely seeing in this area but I actually wish there was a little wind today but uh, it was pretty slick the entire day so that probably didn't help the bite uh, I'm still optimistic that uh, you know, one of these days I'm gonna absolutely crack them out here and uh, I'll be uh, looking forward to sharing that with you guys. But until next time, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Okay, there's like some giants sitting right here. I think I gotta make a few casts back here. Ooh. You know what? I think that's a keeper. I think that's a 12 incher. We're counting them. One pound, one ounce. Alrighty, thank you, sir. Ooh, that feels like a good one. I think this will call. Oh, that will call for sure.
Man, he's burying me. Dude, he buried me in that grass. Oh boy, smart fish. He'll call something. When you haven't caught big fish in a while, these one and a half pounders feel like giants. One four. There's a fish. This might be another call. Ooh, that's a decent one. Oh man, these fish just bury you right in the grass. That's actually probably big fish of the day right there. Oh man. Come on in here. Hey, ooh, he's beat up. 110. Bad one. One seven. It's actually a good tournament fish. It's pretty long. It's officially gonna end the video now. You know, it was pretty cool at the, uh, right at the ramp, I was able to catch my limit and then call up a few times. So again, it wasn't a big limit today. I don't know, maybe eight pounds or so, but uh, Still a limit. You know, right here we've got two major uh, tournament uh, launch sites. And I saw a lot of the fish, a lot of the bigger fish were actually pretty beat up. So I think a lot of these big fish were release fish from tournaments, to be honest with you. And they might be a little bit harder to bite anyways, but they are in the area. Fun day of fishing. I am not going to be fishing again until next weekend, which is the weekend that will be the final Yakabass uh, tournament of the year. Uh, it is here. I'm actually going to be doing some camping. I'm going to make it like a four day camping trip uh, with of course fishing and the tournament is on Sunday so not going to have a lot of computer access to do editing and stuff like that so stay tuned for those videos um, in about two weeks or so. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video just a day of fishing on the Delta can't beat it good times out there and uh, officially this is the end of the video thanks for watching see you in the next one.